السلام عليكم ويلكم ويلكم باك ماي دير سينيور 1 تو ا نيو بيرج سيشن توداي ان شاء الله ويل ستارت ديسكاسينج يونت 2 ان بيولوجي فيرست سكندري اند وي ميك ا سمول ريفيجن اباوت يونت 1 ذا كيميكال ستراكشر اوف ذا ليفينج اورجانيزمز اور ذا كيميكال بيزيس اوف لايف كورس يو ريمبر The cells of living organisms are made up of organic molecules and inorganic molecules. The cells of living organisms made up of organic molecules, which contain carbon element and the hydrogen element, and the inorganic molecules, which don't contain carbon or uh, maybe contain hydrogen, but they don't contain carbon as a basic element. Inorganic molecules, such as water and salt, While organic molecules, we have studied four types of organic molecules, which contain carbon and the hydrogen and the oxygen. Carbohydrates, biological macromolecules, and they are polymers. They are big molecules made of small units or monomers. The monomers of carbohydrates are called monosaccharides. The second type of macromolecules Proteins, polymers made up of small units, monomers called amino acids. The same type of macromolecules, organic molecules, lipids, which are made up of small units called fatty acids. Last example of macromolecules or organic large molecules, nucleic acids, which are made up or built up of small units called nucleotides. This is the organic macromolecules or the polymers in our body. In organic molecules, which don't contain carbon, like water and salt, and there is some chemical reactions occur inside the body. Chemical reactions happen every minute and every second in our body. These chemical reactions are called metabolism. We can divide them into two types, anabolism and catabolism. And they are activated by a certain chemical substance is called the enzyme. All biological processes or biological biochemical reactions happen inside the, build, the cell is called the metabolism. Some of them is building large molecules from smaller ones, which is called anabolism, like building protein. And the others burning or oxidation of large molecules to release energy burning or oxidation or breaking down the molecules to release energy which is called catabolism let's solve some questions about unit one let's read the first question from examples of disaccharide glucose fractose galactose or saccharose you remember Rukaya? Glucose. Which of them disaccharide, not monosaccharide, disaccharide? Galactose. Or, or galactose or saccharose. You remember? Of course, it is saccharose. Saccharose. Uh, the cane sugar, which we use to uh, sweet the, the tea and the coffee. Saccharose is made up of one glucose molecule. Bended with one fractose molecule. Type. Liquid uh, fats. Liquid fats are formed by the reaction of unsaturated fatty acids with glycerol, such as what? Oils or fats or waxes or cholesterol. The liquid fat. Oil or fat or wax or cholesterol. Liquid. Oil? Is a liquid. So easy. It is a liquid. Oil. Oils, of course. Next.
Macromolecules contain hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, and phosphorus. Proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, nucleic acids. Proteins. Uh, proteins contain uh, a nitrogen, not phosphorus. Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and the nitrogen. But a, in addition of phosphorus, it will be nucleic acid. If we add okay. phosphorus, it will be nucleic acid. Okay. Because nucleic acid are made up of uh, nucleotide, and there is phosphate group joined to ribose sugar from carbon number five. There is phosphate group. Okay. Let's move to next one, building blocks of proteins. Fatty acids or amino acids or nucleic acids or glucose. Proteins are built up of, of what? Made up of what? The monomers. Salam alaikum. Uh, yes. Amino. Amino acids. Okay, which of the following is not monomer, not a monomer, glucose molecule, amino acid, a nucleotide, or protein? Nucleotide. A monomer, yeah, a small molecule, but a polymer, not a monomer means a polymer. One is made up of long chain. Of monomers, which of them is a long chain of nucleus and nucleotide? Side is a building unit of nucleic acid, it is a monomer. This is the building unit of nucleic acid, it is a small unit build the nucleic acid. So the polymer glucose here, glucose? not a monomer, is what of protein or protein. Because protein is a polymer made up of monomer called amino acid. Okay. Let's go to another uh, question. Which of the following is not functional a uh, function of protein? Maintenance and the transmission of genetic information, controlling the rate of the reaction, resistance of diseases, movement of materials inside the outside cells. Inside and outside cells. Not a function of protein. Resistance of disease. Resistance of diseases. Uh, resistance of diseases. Uh, this is a function of uh, lymph and the blood. Resistance of diseases is a function of lymph and the blood. And lymph and the blood made up of protein. So, maintenance is a function of a genetic material function of chromosomes. And chromosomes have protein. Controlling the rate of the reaction function of enzymes. Enzymes are protein. Resistance of diseases, the blood and the limb, function of protein. So the only correct answer is what? Movement of materials inside and outside the cells. Okay. Which of the following statement is correct? Simple sugar is composed of polysaccharide. Protein is composed of amino acids. Guinness roll composed of fatty acids. Nucleotides are composed of nucleic acids. Let's check which is correct and which is wrong. Simple sugar consists of uh, 
polysaccharide this is of course a wrong because a polysaccharide is made of simple sugar not the simple sugar is made of polysaccharide routine is composed of amino acids this one is correct all composed of fatty acids this one is wrong Nucleotides are composed of nucleic acids. This one also is yeah. wrong. So the correct one only is protein is composed of amino acids. Okay. Okay, let's move to another one. How does the enzyme increase the speed of the chemical reaction? By lowering the activation energy, by increasing the activation energy, by releasing energy, by absorbing energy. By lowering the activation, uh, activation, activation energy? energy. Of, course. of course, you are correct. Very good. Lowering the activation energy. So the reaction can occur with less energy. The chemical reaction that Substrate bandwidth enzyme at the region is cold. The chemical reaction. In the chemical reaction. In the chemical reaction. The substrate bend with the enzyme. If you remember the drawing, if the enzyme is like this. Okay. And the substrate is like active this. Side. Yeah, very good. The active side. Excellent. So this place is called the active side. This place is called the active side. Of course. Let's move to another question. Which of the following biological molecules is considered glycerol and fatty acid? Sugar, starch, lipids, nucleic acids. Which of them made of glycerol and fatty acids? Is it sugars or starch or lipids or nucleic acid? Of course. Uh, what do you think? Four. Very good. Lipids. Give reason. Catalyst. The catalysis of protein, albumin, produces amino acids only. And if we break down albumin protein, we get amino acids only. No any other element. Because albumin is from what? Albumin is a simple protein. It's made of amino acids only. It doesn't contain any other element. If you remember, albumin found in the roots and the seeds of some plants and found in the plasma of the Human and animal, the plasma of blood. Albumin is a simple protein. What is the meaning of simple protein? This means that it's only of amino acids, no uh, any additional element. Every reason there are millions of proteins compound, despite the number of amino acids is limited, 20 only. Why? We have millions of proteins, although despite the number of amino acids is limited. How can we make a protein? By joining amino acids together. So there is difference in the arrangement, difference in the type, and difference in the number of amino acids. This is according to the type, the number, and the order of the amino acids, which join together to make the chain of polypeptide. The chain of polypeptide, which make protein, has different 
number of protein, a different number of amino acid, a different type, and different order, different arrangement. So we can make big number of possibilities, maybe millions of possibilities from only 20 amino acids. Okay? Yeah, but the answer is according to the type, the number, and the order of amino acids. Some, animal, some, uh, some animals can maintain their temperature in severely cold places, like the polar bear, for example. The polar bear, for example, it obtain, uh, it work, the fat uh, work as a yeah, insulator. Yeah. yeah, very good. It has an isolating layer under the skin made of fat. This isolating layer prevent the cold weather from reaching his body. So it is a way of protection by the fat layer under the skin, like polar bear and penguin. The number four gave reason. So then four stain is used to detect lipids. So then four it detect lipids. Uh, its color changes into a red or orange red when we add it to lipids. When we add the assemble of food contain lipids, the color of sedan 4 changes into red. Okay. Monosaccharides are the uh, responsible for the process of energy transferring inside the cells of living organisms. Monosaccharides responsible for process of energy transferring energy transferring inside the cell can you tell me about it if you remember by burning of glucose we get a compound called adenine a, a compound called atp Adenosine triphosphate. Adenosine triphosphate. This compound is high energy compound. By burning of glucose, we get the coin of energy, ATB compound, adenosine triphosphate. And adenosine triphosphate is a currency of energy in the cell. The cell needs energy, so we can transfer ATB to any part of the cell, so the cell can use it to get energy. So, by burning of monosaccharides such as glucose, we get a compound of energy ATP, which is store, the store of energy inside it. And we can transfer ATP to any part of the cell and to any part of the body. Need energy. So, we can consume it in getting a energy. Compare and so on. Here we have a question about enzyme. We have here an enzyme activity and we have here the temperature. Enzyme activity and the temperature. A temperature at which is enzyme activity starts. At which temperature? Ten. It is uh, 10. It is 10. 10. Okay. okay. Temperature at which is the maximum enzyme activity appears. Yeah. Optimum temperature. 40. Yes, it is the optimum temperature. About 40. It's about 40. Temperature at which is enzyme activity stops. 50, 55. It's about uh, 55. Approximately 55. Uh, at the thermal range of enzyme activity. What is meaning of thermal Ten. range? The thermal range means the temperature of the beginning of activation and the temperature of the end of activation. It's activated between what and what? 
10 and 55. Yes, this is the activation range. The thermal range, activation range, in between the beginning of activation and the end of activation, it is between 10 and 55. Easy question? Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, let's move to, uh, here we have the end of the questions. Maybe I have some questions here in the booklet. Choose the correct answer. A process by which, a process by which sample molecules are used to build the complex molecules through a group of chemical reactions which consume energy. Is it catabolism or anabolism or oxidation or hydrolysis? Ah, we use sample molecules to build the large molecules. Sample molecules are used to build the complex molecules. Is it building or breaking down? Anabolism. Anabolism, very good. Because it is a building process, it is anabolism. Oops. Next, Salma, are you ready to read the next one? A process which breaks some molecules to release energy from them is called. Oxidation, reduction, anabolism, catabolism. Force, it is the opposite to the first one. The first one is building and this one is breaking. So it is called what? Catabolism. Catabolism, okay. Next. The substance on which enzyme work is called require substrate or substance of reaction or reagent or broader. The enzyme work on what substance? Substrate. Substrate. Very good. Substrate. And every enzyme has its own substrate because the enzyme is a specialized. Okay. Substance. Enzymes are made up of salma, protein, lipid. acids, carbohydrates, or lipids. Lipid. Think again. It is made of proteins. It's made up of proteins. Is it okay? Yes. Enzymes and the hormones made up of proteins. Blood and the lymph are made up of proteins. Proteins build most of your body. Define metabolism, anabolism, catabolism, activation, energy. Palestine, the three of them we are talking about in the choose. Let's see the activation energy. Rukaya, can you tell me the definition of activation energy? Is it the difference between the starting of uh, the enzyme uh, activation and the ending of the reaction? You are talking about the, the range, the activation range. You are talking about here the thermal range of enzyme activity. Like in activation energy, I got Tanya. Activation energy. The minimum energy required for the chemical reaction to occur. The minimum energy required for the chemical reaction to occur. This is activation energy. Okay. Every reaction needs a minimum amount of energy to start or to occur. So the activation energy, the minimum, the minimum energy required for a chemical reaction to occur. Okay. Enzyme. Okay. Salma, enzyme, what's meant by enzymes? Can you define enzymes? Remember the definition of enzymes? Uh, 
have here the definition of enzymes. They are biological catalysts formed from protein molecules, which speed up a chemical reaction occurring in, within the living organisms. Again, again, enzyme is what, yes, Alma? Biological catalysts form uh, from protein Formate made of. From are formed from proteins, molecules, which speed up the chemical reaction occurring within the living organisms. This definition is very important. Another definition, which is substrate. What is the meaning of substrate? We have here in choose. We solved it before. Rukaya. Uh, is which the enzyme work with? The substance which is enzyme work with. Very good. The substance which is enzyme work with. Sub the active side, yes, Salma. The active side of the enzyme. Every enzyme has active side. If you draw the enzyme like this, you remember the enzyme has a place in which it join with the, the place in which is a substrate joined with the enzyme. This is the active site. So every enzyme has active site, which is suitable for a special substrate. A certain substrate only can join with this a uh, site, the active site of the enzyme. Okay. And this is the substrate can join here. So the active site is a place on the enzyme in which the uh, substrate can join with the enzyme to start the reaction. If we have another substrate like this, if we have a substrate like this, can it join with this enzyme? This one, this substrate, A or B can join with the enzyme Z. A or B substrate, uh, which substance or which substrate suitable for the enzyme Z? A or B? Salma. Of course, a. it is A because the active site is a suitable for the substrate. But here's the active site is not suitable for the substrate, this substrate. Maybe enzyme E, if we draw an enzyme E like this, maybe this enzyme E is suitable for substrate A, B. It can join here. Okay, but this A suitable for enzyme Z, okay? Okay. Okay. Active site is a place in which the enzyme join with the substrate. Give reasons. Metabolism reaction are very important to living organisms. For the growth of the body and repairing right. the damaged, damaged yeah. tissues. Very good. And also metabolism Obtaining includes energy. Uh, producing energy. Very good. Include anabolism and the catabolism. Include the building process, building of protein for growth, for new damaged cells and tissues, and also uh, catabolism, which include burning of uh, uh, compounds to release energy. Also, the, the same answer for uh, question number two, catabolism and anabolism reactions are essential for living cells. Uh, it is the same answer. The biological importance of enzymes. Enzymes are important. Why? Because they, uh, they are considered biological catalysts. They activate the chemical reactions inside the body. All chemical reactions inside the body occur by the help of enzymes. 
So they activate these reactions by reducing the activation energy. So I give reasons. The temperature affects the enzyme activity. Why the enzyme activity is activated by temperature? I want you to remember the egg. The egg, remember the egg has yolk inside it. The egg has yolk inside it. If you boil the egg, the yolk, which is a liquid, change into solid substance. If you boil the egg, it's a structure changes. It's a structure changes completely. If you boil the egg on boiling water, the structure of the egg will changes and it becomes solid state because the egg is made of protein. The egg is made of protein. So it's a structure changes by increasing the temperature. By rising the temperature, the enzyme activity stop and its structure changes because it is made up of proteins. Because it's made up of a proteins. And proteins are very sensitive for temperature. Okay. Give reason number six. The same answer is the same answer for number five. When the temperature of the enzyme increases more than its optimum temperature, its activity decreases gradually until it stops. It is the same answer because the enzyme is made of a, the enzyme is made of protein and the protein is very sensitive for temperature. Its structure will change and it's, it will stop working. So I give reason number seven, pH solution affects the enzyme activity. Why pH affects the enzyme activity? The enzyme is a protein also. And the protein is made of amino acid. And the amino acid, the amino acid has acidic group called COOH. And basic group, which is called NH2. This is a structure of amino acid. And we have here hydrogen. And we have here also alkyl group. So the, the enzyme is a protein. And the protein has a acidic group called the carboxyl. And basic group called amine or amino so the enzyme is highly affected by the ph value because it has uh, an acidic group and a basic group okay okay uh, inshallah uh, we'll stop here the next session inshallah we'll start talking about unit two the cell theory uh, i sent you the exam I sent you before the exam, but some questions we didn't study yet. Some questions we didn't study yet. I prefer to solve it in the end after finishing all the curriculum. After finishing unit two, we'll solve together this exam. But you can try solving the exam, the, the, last, the, the last year exam. You should try to solve it by yourself. Then we solve it together, inshallah, after finishing unit two. Okay? So, inshallah, okay. we'll start unit two, uh, the cell theory and the cell structure in the next session, inshallah. Uh, do you have any question? Please continue solving more questions in your book, in Muasir book. Continue solving many more questions, please. Don't stop solving questions. Okay? And if you have any problem or any question, please send me directly. Okay. You have okay. any uh, question okay. now? Thank you and goodbye. No.